All right, so this video is gonna be about a recipe I'm working on for my food truck. I've been working on it for a while. I, I don't really know what to call it. I don't even know if it would be a good idea for a food truck. And I certainly would like input as for pricing. So I thought I'd make this video and hopefully you viewers can comment on those three things. So I thought I would show you how it's made and what's in it and what it looks like when it's done. And we'll take it from there. So these are, this is everything you need to make this. It's, it's just some pasta, minced garlic. I usually use olive oil, but I saw a YouTube video about how avocado oil is actually a better way to go. So I thought I'd give it a try. I try to watch my sodium, so I use this sodium-free spice and some Italian seasoning, a smoked sausage. We're gonna have two Roma tomatoes, two orange peppers, one sweet onion. So I'm gonna chop everything up and I'm gonna put this off to the side, the, the sausage. I'm gonna put the garlic off to the side and the onions. So I'm gonna put the, I'm gonna put all this in a bowl with this pasta and some oil and some spices and kind of stir it up. But the sausage and the onion, I wanna get that on the, in the pan first so that the onion can caramelize and the sausage can cook. And then we're gonna put the garlic in at the very last minute so that it doesn't burn. So I'm just gonna cut these peppers into these long strips here. And then I'm gonna throw them in a mixing bowl. I'm gonna throw this pasta in too. Leave them in long strips. Well, sometimes I I'll cube them. Yeah, all the times you cube them. Really? Yeah. Not this time you have long strips. I like to try to get the extra water and seeds out of the tomatoes before I put them in. Yeah, I started uh, doing the tomatoes in long strips and I like it better. So I was just thinking maybe I'll try doing the peppers in long strips too. I don't know. But you're not digging that idea or what? Well, we'll try it like this. If we don't like it, then... I already know. I don't like it. I want my bite picked out in one forkful. Yo, yeah, well, my kids yell at me when I cut the pasta up short. Like, they like that long pasta that, well, the that, long gets, pasta that irritates me, like, when it's harder to eat when it's long. You can still spin it into one bite. Long pasta is different. You cannot spin a tomato or a pepper. You realize you're keeping it in the movie, right? No, we are not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, feel free to comment on this conversation too if you if you wind up watching this long. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Weigh in. 
Long peppers are short. I'd love to know what you people think. <laughs> She's flipping me off right now. <laughs> Because we need to know who's right. Can't keep it Is it good to try something a little different and see if you like it or just stick with what you know? I guess that's the question. You can't put our lover's quarrel in there. They say the lover's quarrel. <laughs> no, what is it? It's a funny conversation. <laughs> I think. Because sometimes we make this with cherry tomatoes or grape tomatoes, whatever you call them, and just cut them in half, right? But then I started using just regular Roma tomatoes and that turned out good, I thought. I don't measure it out, I just put it until the color looks right. This is that Lari's salt free. I got it at Amazon, it's pretty good. We should, we'll put a link, we should put a link to the Lari's. So it looks about like that, but now I'm going to mix it up. So as I'm mixing it up, I'm kind of pulling the pasta apart because it kind of turned into a big ball. Okay, so this is what it looks like now. I'm going to put it to the side and I'm going to chop up these other ingredients so that we can get this started. All right, so there's a debate going on at this house about how to cut an onion. <laughs> this is how I do it. And I rinse it. Cut it in half. All right, is this bowl? in the shot. All right. Should we do long onion strips? No. Or cute? Stop with the strips. Cute. All right. A lot of people spend money on knives that onions won't stick to. But I like when I stick to the knife. Then I can just do that. Bethany, you're going to be in my video again. Yep. It's good. I don't like when you do that. Like my co host. No. I like it. I think it adds to the video. This is getting my eyes. Usually a sweet onion won't get my eyes. But this one did. All right, so I'm gonna put this off to the side. I'm gonna chop up this uh, smoked sausage. It says peel here and they all claim easy open, but guess what, they're not. So, I just cut them. Wait, hold it down more just to how you're pulling it out, because that's helpful. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, seriously, if a person doesn't know how to get a sausage out of the package, far like be that. it from me to get it. I've never pulled it out like that. What do you do? I do the easy peel, even when it's not easy. 
I can't make it work. I grip it and it slips and it's like it's glued together too tightly. I know. Tightly. Well, that's my way and if I can't get it, I cut around it. I would have never guessed to do it that way. Really? Yep. Did it get on the thing? How oh, I did it? I think well, it'll be helpful. Not when you were lifting it out, which is why I said, wait, I can't see. <laughs> but you ignored me. But I put it down. Oh, it's out of the shot. It's out of it. All right, well. I just cut that package in half and I yank. I, I just pull it out one end. And this is a new kind of smoked sausage that just came to the grocery store. And it looks a lot better than the other ones. So I'm looking forward to this. It's local fresh. Is it? That's what it said. It said local fresh. There you go. I don't know if our pan's big enough. I should have maybe got the flat top up here. Yeah. <clears throat> you think I should get the flat top? I do. You do? <clears throat> yeah, I, have, I don't usually do like a full batch on the stove and I fill my pan. Mm -hmm. Because I'm just looking at it in a bowl here, <clears throat> I don't even know if it's going to fit in that pan. It won't. I'll get the flat top. Okay, so this is pretty much everything we need. We might add a little more of this avocado oil when we're cooking. But I'm going to put these two in first. Actually, this in first. Because I want, <clears throat> I want to make sure the sausage, all of the sausages actually make contact with the hot surface of the pan for a bit. And then the onions I'll put in. And I'll start stirring it around so they caramelize. And then this will go in, and then at the end, we'll put in the garlic. Because I, I used to put it in early, but then it burns, and then it gets a little bitter, so. All right. All right, so this avocado oil is smoking up the house, and I'm not impressed. I, it, you know, it wasn't... It, it, I bought it because, you know, they said it, it should have a high, higher temperature for that, but it seems to be working exactly like olive oil, so I wouldn't spend the extra money on it again, because it was expensive, it was really expensive. But we're going to go back to olive oil because it's still pretty smoky. So I'm just spreading these all out so they all get some contact with the flat top. All right, so now that's getting nice and hot. And I didn't even go up to 350. I went to 302, which is a really weird number that they would put that instrument down there. But this, this flat top was made in China, and that's probably why the low quality is there. You can see how that sausage got dark right away. The onions are starting to get dark. Alright, so these ingredients have a good enough head 
start on the rest of them. So I'm just going to go ahead and dump the rest on there. And we'll see what happens. Okay, now we're going to add the garlic. And I don't know why, but I get my garlic out like this with a butter knife. Wait, so I get my garlic out. I've never added any more than this to anything. So I don't know. I don't know how much it is, but... Yeah. I'm gonna repurchase the other one that I had though. All right, I'm going to turn this off. It'll take a while to cool down. But it looks like it's getting about right. You can see the noodles are starting to brown. And the orange peppers are getting soft. And the onions are nice and caramelized, so... We're about where we want to be, I think. I do like to do it for the hamster. Okay, can you see it now? Down. All right, so the question is, what do I call it? Would you want to buy it off a food truck? And what would you want to pay for it? If you guys get back to me with comments, that would be greatly appreciated. Thanks for watching.